All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm coming to you from Madrid, Spain. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can sell life insurance while traveling the world. Now, um, over the last few months, last year or so, I've been able to go to some pretty cool places. Last summer, I spent the, this entire summer in Colombia, Medellin, Colombia. And then I went to Thailand in the fall. Uh, and now I'm in Spain. I've been in Spain for the last two months, all while still working and still running my business. So it's something really cool I wanna share with you guys and kind of give you guys how you can make this transition so that you can start traveling and making money. And then also some of the mistakes and lessons that I've learned along the way um, that you can avoid making to have a, a better experience traveling and selling and running your business, right? So basically to give you guys a little bit of background, a little bit of context, I got into the industry back in 2021, like right after COVID. And uh, hopefully I don't get demonetized for saying COVID, but whatever. Um, I was selling face-to-face -face with like mailers, right? So we'd get these this stack of mailers and I was in North Carolina. And so I'd drive two and a half hours away from my house, go knock on people's doors and sell insurance, right? Now, obviously that business model is not conducive for traveling or conducive for, you know, even making money if we're being honest. And so the first tweak that you need to make if you're selling face-to-face -face, is you need to transition your business to telesales and to selling over the phone, right? That is like the quintessential, you have have, you must have that be true. You have to have a remote business in order to be able to have, you know, location freedom and traveling anywhere. So if you're not already doing telesales, I highly recommend making the switch. Um, it's just a better business model and it gives you more freedom as a, as an agent and just ultimately as a, as a person overall. Um, so switching over to telesales and doing everything remotely has been a huge difference maker for me in terms of, you know, being able to have a better lifestyle, right? Now, realistically, for you to be able to start traveling, a lot of places are actually cheaper to travel and live there than it is to live in the US, right? So if you have like a lease or an apartment, once your lease is up, if you go and travel to some of these places that I'll tell you guys about, you'll actually save money as opposed to living in the US, right? So, I mean, if you're making over like 7K a month selling life insurance, like you could start doing this immediately and it wouldn't really, like you wouldn't really be taking much of a risk, right? So once you hit about $7,000 a month in profit, this is something that you can definitely do. And um, yeah, I mean, basically the places that I would recommend going whenever you're gonna sell, uh, because you know, you're in a sales-based business and you have to talk to people, I recommend taking time zones into account, right? Now, this is something I did not take into account when I went to Thailand and it caused a lot of issues. Uh, but um, some great places are like where I am right now in Europe. We're only like six hours ahead of the US. So you can just have like a late night and wake up late, which is what everyone does in Europe anyway. Um, so you won't really be missing out on much. Or uh, places in South and Central America are amazing for, uh, for doing this as well. Like um, I know a lot of people that go to like Playa del Carmen, Mexico, or Cancun in Mexico, those different areas, um, as well as I was in Medellin, Colombia. There's a lot of people that, you know, kind of travel and work there as well. Um, it's a great spot, highly recommend that for anyone that's looking at doing this. Um, and there's some other spots in South America. Those are the two that I hear the most about and that I would personally recommend, but paying attention to the time zones whenever you, you know, set, set sail, so to speak, or jump on a plane and start traveling is very important because when I was in Asia, it was like a 12 hour difference so literally we would be on the, I would be on the phone with somebody at like 5 a.m., 3 a.m., you know, 2 a.m. my time. And then I would wake up at like, you know, 3 p.m. And at that point, like the most of the, the, the daylight was already gone. So I don't really recommend going to Asia if you're gonna do this, um, but stay at like Europe and uh, South and Central America are like totally open and there's plenty of places to go. Um, so yeah, those, were, those would be the locations I would recommend as far as doing this. Uh, some tips, right? Some tips for you guys. When you start traveling, make sure wherever you stay has like the best Wi-Fi in the whole freaking city, right? I've stayed at some places like, um, they're kind of like places that were, there were almost like, it seemed like, like it was a hotel, but it was like apartments at a resort. And they had like one Wi-Fi network for the whole uh, resort. And so you were like just sharing Wi-Fi with other people. And literally I would be on calls um, with agents 
and the call would just shut off like in the middle of the phone call or I'd be on a meeting with my team I would just immediately like cut out so that was like probably the most frustrating thing ever and if you're using right like what which if you're going to sell telesales and do this you're going to have what's called a VoIP which is like an internet phone which you know you make calls through the internet it's not like you're calling from your cell phone which is what allows you to do this um, like through your CRM basically and so if your internet connection is bad you're going to sound terrible on the phone um, no one's going to be able to hear you you're going to be cutting in and out and you're going to have a very bad time so make sure that before you go anywhere have the host of the Airbnb send you the internet speed and also the other thing too if you're traveling with someone else like I'm, I've been traveling with my girlfriend for the last you know year or so don't get a studio apartment try to get somewhere with like separate bed separate rooms so you have like your bedroom and then you also have like your work room so that you can make calls while somebody else is sleeping that's something that um, I've definitely had to learn that lesson I've pissed my girlfriend off plenty of times from being super loud on calls while she's like you know literally right next to me trying to trying to sleep um, and that was in Asia because it was like literally midnight when I was on calls so those would be some some big things I would look out for and then also like here's the thing a lot of people kind of think that when they're traveling while working that means they're on vacation but realistically it doesn't so if you go somewhere else and you're traveling the world this is like the, the biggest shift that I you know have realized is it's not vacation it's just working from somewhere else which is cool because you can stay somewhere else or you know you can travel and not have to spend a ton of money and you're getting paid while you're traveling which is pretty baller but it's not like you're going out and you're seeing sites all day right like you take one or two days off a week and then you can go and do cool stuff but you're spending most of your time in your airbnb working hitting the phones calling selling policies doing those kind of things and then on the weekend instead of you know going to the bar or whatever in your hometown you're able to go out and see this cool city that you're in um and yeah i mean that's pretty much it ladies and gents like we live in a pretty cool time where you can realistically you can travel and work from anywhere and for anyone that has the opportunity to do this, which if you're selling over the phone and you're able to make like 7K or more, you will actually save money traveling if you go to the right spots, like places in South America, some places in Eastern Europe, you're literally gonna save money as opposed to living in the US. So I wanted to, wanted to let you guys know about this because I know a lot of people are not aware that they actually have this opportunity and that it's real um, and then it's actually possible. I, I think people see people on the, the internet talking about this, but they don't know that they can actually do it as a life insurance agent. So I'm here to tell you it's hundred percent possible. I've been doing it for the last year. And um, yeah, if you guys have questions, drop them in the comments down below. And if you want to learn how you can transition over to telesales and generate your own leads, I put a free course down in the, uh, the description. There's going to be a link to it. Just click on there. It's going to explain how you can generate your own leads so that you can make more profits in your life insurance business and travel to cool places like Madrid, uh, Colombia, Mexico, and wherever else you want to go. So take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.